Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following Euclidean geometry by applying various circle theorems. In the first example, we have O is the center of the circle and the value of X equals 40 degrees. We have to determine with reasons the size of angles Q1, B and A. Because we've been told that O is the center, you can see that the line POQ is the diameter of the circle. So using the triangle PRQ, what I have is angle X has been given to us as 40 degrees. I'm going to put that in the diagram. Therefore, angle R1 is equal to 90 degrees. And the reason being angles in a semicircle that's one of the circle theorem so therefore if r1 is 90 as shown to find q1 that's the first angle i have q1 plus x plus r1 equals 180 degrees and the reason being the sum of angles in the triangle the triangle is prq or qpr Therefore, putting in the parameters, Q1 plus X, X is 40 degrees, and then plus R1, R1 is 90 degrees, equals 180. To solve for Q1, I have Q1 plus 130, that's 40 plus 90, equals 180. And moving 130 to the right-hand side, it will be 180 degrees minus 130 degrees, therefore, Q1 is equal to 180 minus 130, 50 degrees. For the second part, we have to find the angle B. To find the angle B, I will be using the cyclic quad. I'm going to highlight that in the diagram. That's Q, P, R, and B. So I have X, that's angle at P plus angle at B is equal to 180 degrees and the reason being the opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Opposite angles of a cyclic quad are compl supplementary, that is they add up to 180. So therefore putting in my values, angle at P that's X and that is 40 degrees plus angle B equals 180 degrees therefore angle b equals 180 degrees minus 40 degrees and that will give me 140 degrees the last part of the question says solve for angle a to solve for angle a i'm going to change the cyclic code i will be using and that will be a, P, Q, and R. Note that a cyclic quad, the quadrilateral in which all the corners or all the vertex touches the circumference of the circle. So therefore, if you look at the diagram I have, angle A is opposite angle Q. So therefore, using the same rule, that angle A plus angle Q1 is equal to 180 degrees same reason opposite angles of a cyclic quad therefore putting in the values angle a plus we know q1 that's 50 degrees equals 180 degrees therefore to find angle a i'm going to move my 50 to the right hand side and that becomes 180 minus 50 degrees therefore the value of angle A equals 180 minus 50, that's 130 degrees. Let's look at the second example. We have MPS and T are points on a circle with center O. The line PT is the diameter. MP, MT, MS and OS are drawn 
angle M1 is equal to 53 degrees, as shown in the diagram. We are to determine with reason the size of angle O2. I'm going to start with looking for the angle O1. And I'm going to use the circle theorem that states that angle at the center equals twice the angle at the circumference using the highlighted shape. So I have angle O1 is equal to 2 times angle M1. And the reason being angle at center equals 2 times angle at second frames. Therefore, O1 is equal to 2 times M1. M1 is 53 degrees. Therefore, angle O1 is equal to 2 times 53. That's 106 degrees. Now, going back to the diagram, we've been told from the question that the line PT is a diameter. So if I draw my diameter as shown, what it means is angle O1 and O2 are on the same straight line. So therefore, O1 plus O2 Angles, sum of angles on a straight line, that's 180 degrees. I'm going to put the reason in the bracket. Angles on a straight line. Therefore, I have O1, that's 106 degrees, plus O2 equals 180. Therefore, angle O2 equals 180 degrees minus 106 degrees. Therefore, the angle O2 equals 74 degrees. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. Bye.